The Midlands board shape has kind of taken the world by storm and that Dave Kalama inspired shape really is what the market went after and it didn't take very long and we saw Midlands boards in all sorts of sizes and volumes and I've always been a rider of more like that soap bar style board uh, FG boards I have a 58 liter board of that. We did a review on that as well. Then I really became friends with that 55 liter mid-length board due to proning abilities, etc. And I really got acquainted to knee starts. And then it kind of hit me. Now that I've been riding that 55 liter board almost exclusively, I was really wondering how does now the FG board feel in comparison. First put the two boards next to each other to really see the difference, the soap bariness against that more more lengthy narrow surfboard kind of shape and I look at the tail and and particularly the nose and it is quite different and so I'm thinking like hmm I really need to take this board out and try it one more time again and see and see if I can feel what the difference is and first I have to confess I had to get used to it for a second I kind of donk it out twice on my knee start and then the main takeaway that really came straight into play was getting the board started so the setup that day was just roughly 18 to 22 knots of wind I had a four meter sail in combination with an MA 800 foil and getting the board started out of the water was definitely a little harder than with the mid-length board I was kind of pumping the board and it just the board just doesn't glide slog once it's still in the water as good as the mid-length board of course you guys say like well that is very obvious it is a different shape it is a more streamlined shape rather than that soap bar shape yes of course I get it but you have to experience it to really feel the difference and I was definitely a couple of times pumping and pushing the nose back underwater as I'm trying to pump that foil out of the water so that was definitely something that I felt but once I was out of the water then actually it felt really good I really didn't think there was that much of a difference sailing up wind was the same I had a comfortable stance and tacking up into the lineup was also not a problem at all all good all one or the other whatever is your preference but then when I was riding the waves I really started to realize how much less swing weight I have with that shorter board it felt much turnier whole lot less nose and it felt almost a little bit like yeah like a skateboard I was doing faster turns I didn't have that nose that kind of that was sticking up too far because the board is more short and compact so I didn't have that nose that mid-length nose in front of me and it it was really great for wave riding so now of course after a whole hour back and forth I'm thinking like so which is my new to go to board should it really be the FG or the ML board and it is actually a really hard pick you guys both boards are within three liters of each other from in my case that makes a 20 liter negative buoyancy to a 17 liter negative buoyancy so really not that much of a difference to start yeah it's a little harder uh, it can be a little bit annoying I was definitely a little bit uh, not having it but you know you get over this and you get used to it and that is probably also my struggles because I wasn't used to it and I haven't sailed that board in such a long time so it's really really a hard question what you are using one or the other first I would say if you are more of a wave rider type of guy I'd stick with the FG board and if you are a downwinder kind of guy I think the mid-length board is where this thing is gonna go just because I think with that more streamlined shape and if you have a touchdown in between bumps you have that glidability and you can take off in the bumps easier than with the FG board and if you are wave riding you are wanting to have a more compact maybe a little wider shorter wider nosed board for that reduced swing weight and really carving it up love to see you guys in the next video